Okay, so I think you guys got some of the basic features of Wii Video down now. Now let's start getting into some fancier things to do with this program. One thing I got right now is I have two clips and scrubbing through here, I can see that if I play my main movie, and, uh, it's going to be good for you to stay. And then it automatically ships those down. But I still have the gap of where our movie ended. So I'm going to go up to my tab for transitions up top. And they got all these transitions that you can use. Let's see how horses looks. I'm going to drag that down between the two. And it squeezes them in. And I mean, uh, it's going to be good for you to stay. With this nifty little foot oh, cam, wow. what you... That was ridiculous. Oh, Alright, so those are the transitions. We can also go under our graphics and I can insert a graphic over one as well. Maybe I can put it right above my head. Let's see how I could type something in there. Okay. So it's going to be that duration of time. Let's see how it looks like. See if we can flip it backwards. I wish it showed my other clip so I can kind of see. So now my head's kind of cut off. This is a little bit of, that's going to turn into a transition. So we got some graphics, uh, frames. You can frame. You already saw the cool little horse animation, but there's a lot of cool little effects and graphics that you can stick on. And notice that it goes right into your graphics layer. So some neat little special effects you can put on here. Let's see what old film does. It's a little blurry. It scratches in the film. Then it goes back to normal. And if we just click on our video clip, we can also go into the FX button and see other special effects that you can do. Typically very artsy, maybe if you want to have flashback. Let's see if we can do in grayscale. Maybe we can combine two together and it could take place in a dream in grayscale. Neat. Right? So you can keep them together. And there's some other little effects you can do. Uh, there's all these different clips and I need a little bit of consistency with that. And I can achieve that by getting an audio track. You can even clip on your clip again. You can play with your features. You can tell it what you want to be. Maybe I want to make it music. Let's see if I want to have the sound, just like a little bit of background music, I'll drop that down. And then you go to your audio tab. These are already preloaded on Wii Video site. They're broken down by moods and themes. We have music. Play one of these. How does it sound? <laughs> Alright, I love it. So I'm going to drag that one down to the music. Alright, what's also good is in case you mess up, you can always hit Control Z on this, by the way, and it can redo something for you or go back. If you... Then I'm going to go back into audio and I'm going to look through their sound effects. Let's put that in there. Right about there, I'd say it's worth another clip. And look, if I want to make a song or a sound effect fade out, just like we would do the other clip, you just drag it down. That way the song will fade out. Let's see how it goes. With this new right. video, I mean, uh, it's going to be Alright, we have our clips where they got to go with some transitions and special effects. I think we're ready to export this now. So. Come check out the last video on how to save your work that you did with others.